I'm Dr. John and this is your maintenance minute. Hey, look, I got a brand new friend here. I got this little whiteboard. So let the Carl Rove memes come. I don't mind. I want to share a really important message with, message with you. I'm getting ready to give a workshop on criticality analysis. And I want to just share a few thoughts on that uh, with you and see if you guys would agree with me. If not, please let me know because I'd love to hear what you have to say about it. So we're talking about criticality analysis. One thing I found in my research and what I've always sort of felt to be true is that criticality analysis really just forming a consensus amongst the people that it, uh, whatever we're talking about is important to. In fact, you've probably heard me say if you've taken any of my classes that uh, it's something like the critical spare parts is whatever we say it is. The priority system is whatever we say it is. The thing is we need to write it down and all ascribe essentially to the same belief and then we need to have some discipline to that process. So in criticality analysis is really just a forming a consensus. Of course, it's high stake consensus, but we need to have some agreement. What's really important around here? Uh, three different ways to look at and to perform a criticality analysis, uh, analysis, and that is by system, by asset, or by component. And if you think about a car, standard, just a family car, you got a bunch of different systems. Of course, you got the fuel system. You got the transmission system, you got ignition, you got safety systems, you got a human comfort systems. I always thought that was very interesting that as far as critical uh, systems and critical components with just a regular car, and I'm talking to non-gearheads like myself, I, I don't know anything about cars, but just your average person, the only spare part that they have for a car is a tire. Isn't that interesting? Of all the systems, of all the assets in these systems, of all the components, that could possibly go wrong. It's the spare tire that we have. And I always wondered why that was. Maybe it's because it's the thing that's got the uh, the least mean time between failure. Possibly it's the really only thing that an average person, again, not someone who's a mechanic or mechanically inclined, maybe it's the only thing that, uh, that you're safe to do that on your own is essentially change a tire. Look, there's a lot to be said on criticality analysis. What I want to leave you with is it's simply a consensus. We need to get the significant players together, come to some agreement. What's the most important system? What's the most important asset? What's the most important component? Plenty to say beyond that, but for now, we'll leave it at that. Uh, have a consensus, make a consensus, bring some key players together and get this done. I'm Dr. John, and this has been your Maintenance Minute.